When I came in the 80s, I was very impressed by the fact that a Hasidic rabbi would build a hospital. He was a very kind, very good-hearted, and very open person. And I was lucky enough to know him while he was still alive. He wrote of how he viewed this hospital should be run, the excellence in professionalism, nursing and medical. At all costs, you should respect life and you should maintain life. The patient had a say and should be involved in his care. There was a special presence here, special aura that was connected to the love of life, to the quality of life that we were expected to give to our patients. And it was very much connected to uh, the Rebbe's past experiences during the Holocaust. There was a death march. The soldiers came and they shot the Rebbe. They shot him in his hand and he dropped on the floor and acted he was dead. As soon as the soldiers and the prisoners left, bleeding profusely, he got up and he saw a tree next to him. He tore off a couple of leaves and branches and he made a tourniquet and this way he stopped his bleeding and actually saved his life. And at that very moment, he made a vow. Holy God, if I ever get out of this live hell, I promise I am gonna build an institution to heal the sick, to alleviate pain, The Rebbe recruited the whole staff and spoke to them. I do not expect of you to be religious, but to be compassionate to the patients, to treat each patient like it's your own child. This hospital is different. The Rebbe instilled in each and every person that ever came to work here a love for humanity. You love a non-Jew as much as you love a Jew. We must save and heal a human being, no matter who the human being is. And we committed ourselves to this task. And this is the same policy that's followed in Laniaro Hospital till this very day.